Good morning. I've been a member of First Church for 14 years. Some of those years I chaired stewardship, so I'm thrilled to be talking to you about stewardship this morning. FCCB is a different church today than when I joined. We didn't call ourselves First Church. We didn't have a nine o'clock service then. We didn't have our magnificent organ in the sanctuary. But those are definitions and structures. Some things about this church don't change. These are the things that I want to talk to you about this morning. These are the things that abide. What abides is a little different for each of us. For example, this church, I like to say, saved my life when I was going through a very, very dark night of the soul after a divorce. It gave me friends when I deeply needed them, pastoral support, sanctuary, spirit, beloved community, and of course, God is present for me in all of these places. These are the things that abide for me and for which I am and forever will be eternally grateful. Now, not only has FCCB changed over the years, but I've changed. And my life has had many transitions. In the last year, I lived in Oaxaca, Mexico for six months, just returned a couple of months ago. I attended a tiny Anglican Episcopal church there and made new friends and became a part of another beloved community. In the last month, I've stayed with a friend in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and attended a UCC Santa Fe church, experiencing some of our beloved tra traditions there and also some lovely new ones. What I realized on my travels this year, and of course, I already knew this, but it hit me between the eyes, is that I have an abiding love and a gratitude for this church and for the changes that it's helped me make in my life. Wherever I travel or worship, this church will always be my home, and I will always return however and whenever I'm able, and because, because I must. Love abides here for me, it's just that simple. Now, this is stewardship season. And I've asked myself, as I prepared to talk to you today, can, you, can we put a price on love? Well, not exactly, I think, but I want to ask you to do it. It's true we don't pay for God's love, but we do pay to keep these lights on. We pay for having this beautiful space in which to be beloved community, and for keeping our beloved ministers coming back to us Sunday after Sunday. I want to ask you to ask yourself today, what abides for you at First Church? And in plainer talk, what's it worth to you? And what can you possibly afford to give to sustain it in the coming year? And do you know that there are many ways to support this church? For example, I don't have all the money in the world today, but I've left a legacy to FCCB after I'm gone. And that's one way for me to help sustain our church in addition to making a pledge for 2013. If you're in any doubt about how to give, you can speak to anyone on the stewardship team and get information that will help you discern what's right for you. So I may be bolder in my testimony today than I've been as stewardship chair in previous years by asking simply, what abides and what price love? I ask these questions in hopes that you will reflect, and I know in my heart, as deeply as I know my answers, that you will come up with your own by next week, November 4th, and give generously as you're able. In the words from Psalm 19, and also from the great reggae song, Rivers of Babylon, by the musician Jimmy Cliff, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O God. Amen. <laughs> 